<laughs> Found a burnt hair in your colon So obviously you had something to fucking do with it Are we live man? Yeah Episode number 34 on the Marty and Michael Fully Actual Podcast. We are fucking good to go. And let me tell you, we have a jam fuck off packed episode. We got Yaks and Odo Hearty coming on soon. We got Matt Brown. We got a fucking prank call. We got the diaries. We got the fucking Bachelor Brown. We got a jam packed episode. We, we got a, a PO box. box. We have to Matt, open. Morgan Freeman passed away. Fuck off he did. <laughs> I would have known that already. No, it but just happened. Did you guys hear Coolio died like last week? No, who cares? Sorry, sorry. Who's Coolio? Gangsters Paradise. Never, anyway, ever heard anyway, of him. Doesn't never matter. ever heard. Yeah, him. that doesn't matter at all. Just... Doesn't matter at all. <clears throat> um, anyway. All right, so we're gonna start. What, what have we done this week? There's not much to really talk about. We've just been setting, finishing, setting the house up. We've had a quiet week on the content front. We have a props room now. Yeah, we've and so sorted all the flalas and the clairs. We've sorted all our props. We kind of always look like this though. Yeah, I know. But now it's organized. We can. There's boxes for everything. There's racks. Thank you, Amber. She helped. Sorry. I Man. usually wear this in the bush. Yeah, so there's nothing much to report, everybody. What do we got fucking... Um, we're also running a comment competition, as you all know, which will be announced on the season finale, which will be a live show. It is confirmed. We're doing it, all right? Well, it's probably going to be 190 tickets, all right? We don't know how we're going to do it yet, but get ready for the announcement because there's only 190 spots and fuck me, I hope we can fill it because it'd be very embarrassing if we can't. That's well, stressful. even if we can't, that's sort of funny in itself. Yeah, that's so true. That's on brand. And during that season finale, we'll be announcing the winner of the comment competition, which is where we give $1,000 to a random comment that has been commented throughout the season. So the more times you comment, the higher your chance of fucking winning. Do you understand? Yeah, it's a numbers game. You get it. Math, like algebra. Yeah. Writing. Sorry. And if one of our comments gets it, we get the money. And so that's not that's not that's legit. If we get it and you guys all see it at the live show that we win, then I'm sorry, we're keeping the money. What are you going to no, do? No, that's with fair because we do comment too. Yeah, like I've commented the number two before. Yeah, you look different. I can't see you. Big furry fucking thing, cunt. Big hairy bloke sitting um, with a baby. Bigfoot. We got a Greg got a lot of love from last. On the podcast. Yeah, and so he should. He's a fucking stand up cunt. Yeah, I didn't, I wanted to tell him that. I oh, forgot. man. Greg, we're not, should we tell him what happened after? <laughs> we put him on the spit. Yeah, we fucked <laughs> Greg. <laughs> <laughs> we <laughs> took him to the <laughs> props room. <laughs> took him to the props room. <laughs> and we have overpowered him. <laughs> we took his shirt off and he was saying, no, please, no, please stop. And then we, we had sex with him. So it was a pretty special <laughs> moment. Yeah. Uh, sorry about that. All Greg. right, let's quickly get these fucking sponsors out of the way and then we'll get bloody Jacko Jono on, cunt. Who? Don't. Are you sitting there with depression filling your skull because you look like a fucking stupid, hairy, dumb cunt with no fucking, no possibility of ever getting no birds or happiness cunt? Well, go to fucking manscaped.com and use our stupid discount code, fully actual 20 for 20% off. They got all sorts of shit to groom your sick hair off your fucked back and your slit neck and your fucking shaving rash all down your throat, you cunt. Go to manscaped.com. They got shit for everything. They got ball wipes so you can get sucked off on trains, cunt. They got sprays and formulas and inventions. Have a look. Just go to manscaped.com and have a fucking look at least before you turn away out of embarrassment and shame because you're a worthless, dumb pig whenever you look in the fucking mirror cunt. I bet the mirror cracks when you look in it. That smells nice. Also for women. Yeah, it's for women. Yeah, for and women. actually, I'm going to say it's mainly or it's manly for women. That's sexist. But yeah, it's true what he's saying. It's sexist, Manly. but he's correct. Manscaped.com, fully actual 20. They got a bunch of cool shit, and then you will be able to get sucked off wherever you walk. That is our promise. That is their slogan. That is Manscaped. You can get sucked off wherever you want to be, cunt. Or, yeah, and that goes for women, too. You get yeah, sucked and off, And also for women. Yeah, or like tickled or something. Tickle, tickle. Hmm. 
It's beautiful. And our other sponsor, of course, is the University of Marco, where we post weekly videos that are not allowed on social media. It's the behind the scenes of all of our lives. It's fucked up videos that are far too graphic and fucked. Right now on the website, we have defeating defecation. And this is yeah. a big one. This is this is yeah. If you, this, this is, is not for the the light faint hearted. Yeah. Faint-hearted, so if you yeah. if you get grossed out easily, maybe not a good time to sign up for the free trial. We try to stop. We try and make it so that you don't need to shit anymore because we're sick of wasting so it's, much fucking time. You spend. We figured it out like. 30 years on the yeah, toilet 30 years of your whole life We w- roughly worked out And that's just too much for us Yeah So we try and figure out a way To stop shitting It's on the website right now There's a 21 day free trial If you don't like the content You can leave Free of charge They, they oh. keep telling me To stop saying that But I will never stop saying that I would like You can to watch everything that. 220 videos And then fuck off In 21 days And you don't get charged a thing And we have to we, pay for the data yeah, Do you understand? Yeah. We lose money on that We so lose money when you do that. that It'd be lovely if you didn't do that So you can so yeah, for free. Yeah, yeah. So it just we basically have figured out a way almost how to stop so you never ever have to go to the toilet again, I think. Well, yeah. Sort you'll, of. You'll see. Anyway, that's the University of Markle. Over 220 videos on this. So suck me off right now. Okay. I've got manscaped. Okay. So all right. That is the end of the sponsors. Now, without further ado. Hang on. We have oh, one of I can't the. Can't do that anymore. Where have you been? I have no idea where you've been seen. Thought you just had a haircut. <laughs> we have one of the most handsome, outrageous fucks cunts that has ever lived. Born in Turkey, come over to Australia when he was like 17 years old on a boat, on his own, with his mum and sister on his shoulders. It's Jackson O'Doherty, he can't. Where do I go? You have mine. Yeah, Matt, what the, <laughs> get off the, where's your stool, Matt? Just stays there. God, Matt. <laughs> Even Bosley's pissy right now. Where's your stool? Next to me. I'm getting your milk stool. There's tits to be milked. Where's where's his? Oh, there's his mic. All right, well you. My breath. Bozzy. What do you want? Shut up! Shut up! Shut up, Bozzy! Fuck up! Oh man, he doesn't that listen. thing in half. Yeah. Fuck me, he's been a naughty boy lately. Yeah, Is this it's for me? all the liver. Yeah, yeah, that's for you right there, bro. It's so good for me. How do I make it? Like Is this that? good? Yeah, that's yeah. perfect, John. <laughs> All right, guys. It's it's. I, don't you? He's looking like a German Jack today, isn't he? <laughs> All right. Thank you guys for having me again. It's fucking uh, beautiful no. to be back. <laughs> Firstly, <laughs> I love his hair like that. <laughs> Let me just start off by. I didn't realize I was coming here to be made fun of. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, no. no, I think it's cute. I just Sorry. drove an hour and ten minutes. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> So the reason why we've got Jack on now, Jackson... Um, we- Women that lift weights have got fat, big pussies, as you were. <laughs> we were recently on Jackson's new podcast, all right? If you want to hear a ripping episode with Michael and I on it, we do a prank call as well, which goes down very well. Jackson On Jackson's new podcast, Outspoken show outspoken show on youtube and instagram and tiktok we, we may go, have to change the name eventually we'll link we'll link it in the description as well and um yeah so there's it's an hour of us on there we talk about aliens we go, talk about us living together us nail living guns together. we talk about me and jackson our our sex sort of the story be, the bender where we, we almost met. had sex we almost which had is sex. a great story oh, nails we talk about Everything we pretty much talked about everything. There's that nothing there left is. to talk about now. There's nothing left to talk about. So, Me being here is completely pointless, yeah. other than giving myself a little bit of a 100%. shout out. And I fucking appreciate it. If you're watching, I don't know where you can find Stop it. Stop watching this show and go straight to our. Just go and subscribe show. to my fucking podcast. I'm finally back making content. It's been a long time without being very consistent, but now I'm back. We've pre-filmed months in advance. We've done two episodes so far. Posted anyway. We've filmed many more, and the next episode is with George Cambosis, who fights. In two weeks, he's a boxer. He's an Aussie Greek boxer, former world champion fighting Devin Haney. Very interesting episode coming up. 
But yeah, it's great to be back around you guys. Thanks for having me. Today I'm an organ eating dog. <laughs> Unsubscribe to our podcast and go and subscribe no, 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 to Jackson. You don't need to don't do, do that. that. Look, that's unnecessary. Don't you can have that. both. Okay. You can do. You can now have let's. Both. All right. So Jackson, you've started the podcast. You've been look. You've been a little inconsistent with the content, and we had a bit of a whinge about this the other day about how shit social media is becoming, and it's it's really affected your ability to make content. Yeah. And but now you've got the podcast, and it's the first time in years since I've known you that you finally s- seem to have a bit more of a sense of purpose. And it's something that you can. It's podcasts are rough; they're a long, hard grind. But it seems like you're committed to this, and you're going to be. It's going to be something you do fucking consistently, right? What's your name, Sarah Smithson? <laughs> uh, to answer your question, yes, it has been many years since I have enjoyed doing some type of content, and I think. For me, living with a fucked up case of ADHD my whole life, it's like, it's very hard for me to bring myself to make content that I don't enjoy making. And most of the content that I enjoy making, the same as you guys, is too fucked up to post on the internet. And it's gonna get removed, it's gonna get flagged. And I would almost rather post nothing than post shit I don't find funny and be like the little TikTok kids that fucking fuck. But now I'm back, the podcast is a slow grind, very small views, very, very small growth gains, but Long term, this is where I'm going to be. It's so sustainable, very easy to make episodes where months in advance of posts already. We have daily content coming out across all the other platforms. And I'm back making other videos. Today, we filmed a great video. We sat down today. We ate livers, brains, hearts, kidneys. It was fucking vile. Oh, man. I don't know how the liver king does that shit. Dude, but just even like you said, having a state of sense of purpose again, like being back doing content I enjoy for the fucking first time in years. It like, it just sets you back on fire a bit. And I'm like, boom, and now I want to fucking do this shit. We filmed like 10 or 11 episodes or something in like a month, just we're smashing it out. We got good guests already. We'll go to the States probably in December or January and get a whole bunch of people out there on there. All kinds of people. So it's just- Yeah, fuck yeah, cunt. Well, there you go. Um, And you've recently had your back done. I've got scar. I've got so scar. yeah, that's pretty intense surgery. That's scar. Yeah, it looks it's a long scar. Yeah, it's so what they, so what, what did they have to do exactly? And what the fuck happened and how did they do it? So it's been four weeks since surgery. Uh, it's called level three lumbar disc replacement surgery, which means they cut through the front. They take out, usually they take out one, sometimes two of the discs in between oh. the spine there, the vertebrae or whatever. Usually from terrible disc degeneration. That's oh. fuck. How do, with power tools, they would need to remove. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Disc and degeneration. That's two Ds. I got like three. That. I got three discs. I got I a like level three part. So they take out the three L four, L S one. Fuck. I don't know what the fuck they're all called, but they pull three of them out that are degenerating, herniating, blocking the, the neural pathways, and that because it's just constant fucking agony. Another big thing that stopped me from making content all easy is it stopped me from being able to get into doing boxing. It stopped me from being able to do a lot of things I love. It stripped me of a lot of my energy. You know, it is like being in chronic pain 24 seven. It's easy for people to sit behind the cameras and be like, oh, you should just do this, do that. Like, no, it's like, I literally had three discs completely gone, two of them herniating and fucked. And it's just people that have got back problems understand. Like it doesn't matter if some people listening might have way worse than me. Some people might not have as bad as me. It doesn't matter. Some people might not even have back problems. Some people might not even have a fucking back like Stephen Hawking. Uh-huh. Yeah, people, Lazy, smart man. Yeah, true. Um, would you, uh, would you like, oh God, actually. use sort of certain like painkillers? 100%. I can't really not, hear not your just, mic, Matt, by the way. Hey? can't really hear your mic. Not just painkillers though, you know what I mean? It's a good question. It's like you said, not just painkillers. I'd, I'd smoke weed because it would be the only way that I could put myself into a nice sleep. Shout out to weed. <clears throat> Shout you out to weed. Saying, man. I would smoke legally, legally, of course. I would smoke a bit of weed and, you know, I was on antidepressants. I've been off them for six weeks. Oh, yeah. How's today. that going? Very proud of was myself. That fucked oh, hard fuck getting yeah, off. Yeah, dude. That was that hard to get off, eh? Very hard to get off, man. Almost harder than heroin, they reckon. And oh, man. Uh, I've been off that for no six good. weeks. But in saying that, painkillers, marijuana, all these other drugs, they interact with antidepressants really fucking badly. It's just sent my brain in this bipolar manic fucking state one day i'm over the moon full of energy and the next day i can barely get out of bed and it's and it's fucked my mental state over these years hence why i've barely been making shit that with censorship losing my instagram fallen the whole year i was doing only fans out in la in 2020 i felt like i was fucking possessed because all the shit i was posing i now with who i am now and where i'm at it's like why the fuck would have i posted that i don't regret doing it i've made a lot of money i had fun with it whatever it is what it is part of my life now but I don't know, it's good. So getting back to the story before I get too distracted. They took three discs out, put three titanium ones in there. So you're metal man. I'm iron strong. Man. I'm terminator. Wow. Why did they have to go through the front? Old therapies, like, cause I didn't get a fusion. Fusion comes with a lot more risk. Yep. Fusions are a lot more older. They still work in a lot of people, but they come with a lot more risk. 
the difference between a fusion, like fusing when they fuse oh, discs man. together, pain. you the kind of lose with a like in the spine. Yeah, let's say you fuse two at the bottom, you kind of lose, lose the elasticity. A lot of the mobility. And if, if they start going fucked, then you start running out of things to oh. fuse and you just end up with a big oh. straight back. Oh, yeah. Did you do poos in, in surgery? Poos? Yeah, any poos? I was only out well, they shove a catheter hours. up your cock So I had a catheter in my dick hole. Um, oh. I had to shit in a thing for a bit. I couldn't <laughs> move. Um, they cut through the front, man. It was a really big cut and they put the three in there or whatever. The reason, to answer your question, the reason they go through the front is in old sort of technology and stuff, where they go through the back to do these things, it comes a lot more risk because the spinal cord's actually on the back. Like it's a lot more on the further. So when they go through the front, it's easier for them to to navigate oh, yeah. around those areas and they can go, because your discs in the spine, obviously it's deep in, they face, yeah, yeah. they're facing this way, not to the back. Oh, yeah. So it's easier for them to do it. They literally move your organs oh. to the side. So well, you've, had a doctor touch, organs. you've had a Everything. doctor touch your heart. Oh, oh, not my heart. Yeah, come on. Maybe, yeah, my heart. But you could Google it and see, they move all the organs, your bladder, you lose the functioning of your bladder for about two to three days. Uh -huh. That's why I had the catheter fucking oh, and, jammed up your- Dude, and they put the normal sized one in there. Not that, I asked for a children's one because my dick's so fucking little. <laughs> and I had this hot nurse, I had to pull out my thing, look at my shriveled up little winter <laughs> cock, crippled up on painkillers. I was just like, yeah, no worries. And I just had to say to I said to her, I was like, but yeah, that's probably one of the biggest ones you've ever seen. <laughs> What'd she say? But she just had a little giggle, 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 giggle. But they've, um, they've been dating for four weeks now. <laughs> yeah, dude. It's, yeah, yeah. I've, we've. I was jerking off in hospital, but we don't need to go there. Um, <laughs> oh, I want to go there. You want to go there? Oh, can we tell the story? The beautiful story of Bali. <laughs> what? Where is it? Did me video <laughs> of the nurse in the room? Oh, the nurse. <laughs> I mean, we can briefly talk about it. <laughs> This is all hypothetical. There's this male nurse in the room. <laughs> oh, this is when you hurt your leg. I and smashed my yeah. whole fucking shin out, bro. My <laughs> bone was there. Lucky's in the room. Got a video of Jackson just having a bat while this male nurse is just working around. But it's Bali. You can do anything in Bali. <laughs> he was having a laugh, the oh, male yeah, nurse. The male it's nurse not offensive or illegal. Was, yeah. yeah, he thought it was sexy. And this could be a joke. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, a it's a hypothetical. Exactly. Laugh, I think. So now you've sold the house, right? Uh, so how dude the parties that you had at your fucking place I'm also oh. single yeah yeah and you're single now I've been single for seven months been off antidepressants for nearly two months I've had a spine surgery I've sold the big party house this year's been pretty fucking crazy I've, this is wow. the second surgery I did on my back this year remember I went to Mexico in March and did a disc sectomy oh, where they yeah. shave off a bit of the oh, bit the Jesus, disc because when it's pressing into that fucking spinal core like the nerve area that's what causes that just constant chronic pain so just potato peeler and just shave some layers pretty much and I got oh. a bit of stem cells done but the stem cells didn't do anything like it's a hit or miss um, it yeah, it's been, it's been a fucking crazy year. So what's, so where are you, where are you going to be living during, you're still on the Goldie? Yeah, well, I've got my other house, but like my, um, some of my family living there. So I'm not like there at the moment, but I've been with uh, Jeremy and Isabel. They're my friends, a little bit older than I am. They're a beautiful little married couple. You guys have met Jeremy, I think, yeah. Isabel, but. He plays tennis. Yeah, he's very good at tennis. They, um, they've been looking after me. <laughs> they've been looking after me since surgery. Beautiful people. They've really? been helping. Oh man, they were cooking food for me every day. Like, oh, that's so nice. Didn't ask for a thing. They offered it because I was going to go. You had a stay. gun in your hand the whole time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I did. Threatening them. The my whole dad, time. obviously, I was going to go stay with my dad and he was going to help me out and stuff like that. But yeah, they offered yeah. and they said, look, well, there's plenty of spare rooms. We're happy. Isabel loves to cook for Jeremy. So it's not too much hard to cook a little bit extra for me. And she's a good cook. Very tidy, beautiful house. Always smells lovely. Mm. They, every single. They are so beautiful. They're such beautiful people. But my God, have I. I've never met people that have just got so much of everything. Every fucking room and bedroom in the house has just got these crazy like surround sounds, big sub speakers, Apple TVs, a million different remotes. And it's fucking heaven. So I can just sit in, I could be in any room and I can just watch what I want with surround sound. Wow. 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 Um, are you gonna have, do you reckon you'll have any more of those nuts hectic parties anymore? Yeah, well, are we gonna get fucking munted again, Clint? Boys week and uh, yeah, no. well, we're thinking of having an annual boys trip here at this house. Yeah, I do, fuck, I yeah. do really want to have another party, but they're just not very productive. Like, you know, the, I did a lot of little parties as well, but Halloween last year and the New Year's party. Did you guys come to both? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Man, that's the shit thing. Like, I, it was not very intimate for me. It's like, I don't get to like yeah. sit down and have a yeah, serious yeah, good- We'd barely saw you on the Halloween. No one did. I was in rooms. Just ripped. You suck, <laughs> sucking blokes off in different <laughs> rooms. Man, I had so much intercourse, man. I'm just so off sex now. I just don't want it ever. I've been single for seven months and I've <laughs> barely wanted much. to touch a fucking woman. I bet when your back's back, you'll be slamming oh, more, when than, back's good, more man. than nothing, cunt. I reckon when how much sex back. I had is what made my back bad. Cause they said a lot of degeneration. Cause a lot of that, and I fuck hard and fast. And that's just how angry. 
because they were small, they could get the makeup for it. I got to do my fingers, my tongue, I got to travel all fast and So that's it. And yeah, probably no more big parties for a while. Maybe like um, once, once the back's better next year, maybe my birthday, I'll kick it off with another big party in April or something like that. See where I'm at. Like, you know, I spent a hundred grand on the Halloween party, probably between 90 to hundred grand again on New Year's. All the smaller parties, like I had Shannon Noel there for that small get together. That was 20K for the day. And I'm not mega, mega rich. What's he like? What's he He's like as a person? fucking cool, bro. Amazing person. Really cool. He dude. seems like he would be a cool fucking bloke. I'm oh, more man. of a Guy Sebastian fan, honestly. But you can fuck off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but you know, he was cool. But as I was saying, you know, I spent so much money on these parties. I didn't do them to earn money. That was never the like plan. Like how I didn't really know. Like I'm not going to charge everyone to come to my fucking party. It's not a club. It's not a festival. It's like, I just wanted to like, I don't know I made all this money and I was just like, I've helped my family a bit. I've donated to some shit over time and stuff like that. Even though I don't really support donating to shit because it's fucking corrupt. And yeah, I feel like the fucking, government fucks yeah. fuck. But mm. I still did a few nice things, helped my family out, bought myself a nice house and stuff like that. I was like, I, money just comes and goes. And it might sound ungrateful and unappreciative, but. I've never really been that obsessed with making money. So I was like, fuck it, I'm gonna spend a bit of money, throw a party that everyone's gonna remember. And in my humble opinion, it's gonna sound arrogant, probably some of the best parties that's ever been hosted in Australia. Yeah, and no, I'd probably agree with that. You I'd say been, the whole mm. Corey Worthington thing back in the day was huge, but I mean, that was- That was more of a- It was more yeah. of like well, a he stunt. was there. He was there, <laughs> exactly. I'm pretty sure. He was DJing. Yeah. Money's like fishes. I, I think, I reckon if, if, you're, if you wanna be successful as a social media person too, you can't be obsessed with money. Yeah, don't you reckon you got to be uh, there's got to be a bit like if, you, if you're in it for money it'll cripple you long it's like term. me I was literally just saying an hour ago I'm spending like $20,000 a month on my podcast and I'm making zero dollars yeah I mean it's going to take months and months to make any money from that you know six months could go by there's $120,000 took us three years to, <laughs> to make some money that's what I'm saying I, if I kept that up I'll probably send myself broke but I am passionate about making these things. They're fun. It's great sitting down, talking to new guests, hearing their stories, sharing, ah! 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 sharing knowledge, sharing stories. You know, people like George Cambosis can talk about his journey, how he was bullied as a kid, got into boxing. People, other people I've spoken to talk about the business side of things, maybe can give advice. I don't know. I, I am loving doing podcasting. As you guys can tell, I love to just fucking sit down and talk shit. I must say, I've enjoyed watching them, both of them so far. Thanks. If you could get any guest on in the whole fucking world right now, who would you get on? A number one choice right now? Probably Jordan Peterson. Oh, I've got... Fuck, love you, Michael. She's got tickets for me to go see him live. I'm going to try and kiss him. Oh, actually, can I change... Yeah, Jackson's coming. Can I change my answer? Oh, yeah, you can change it. Can I change my answer, Mr. Brown? Yeah, please. Yeah. Mr. Brown. I think I'd probably say David Goggins. Oh yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. He's I also prefer Jordan. It's so David, fucking hard. James He's is a, David, Are you going? James loves David. He's Should coming we get to tickets? Too. I'll go with you. Yeah, I'll go. If you find a way to get them, I'll pay for both of us. That's a okay. deal. I'm on my computer. Say less. <laughs> oh, that's so Morgan. Remember? I don't know. I, it's gone. a very hard thing. If I could do both, that would be ideal. But at if the I got, same time, exactly. Sorry. Ski. <laughs> Bit of top oh, Mr. Peterson, I want your carnival. Um, <laughs> oh, Mr. Peterson. Oh, yeah. But yeah, I don't know. They're both different in their own ways. Jordan Peterson's just such a fucking oh, genius. Man. And then David Goggins is like so motivational I just to me. Fucking, like, I, I just want him to hold me, dude. Who? Forever. Jordan. Peterson? He's yeah. a beautiful man. Some, yeah, I think he's, he's gotten got hotter as he's gotten he more into- he's, set, he's like Kermit the Frog meets- you know he was like addicted Morgan to like benzos Freeman. and shit? Not yeah, addicted, but he had a big yeah. problem with like like Xanaxes and benzos. Well, that's why he's yeah. yeah. so funny. With, um, like, is, it, is it motor urine? Oh, my, oh Matt, yeah. motor urine, come on. You're embarrassing us, Matt. <laughs> it's kind of disrespectful. <laughs> Kids out there would die to eat motor neurons and you're just here taking the piss. <laughs> Some people in, in, in countries don't even have motor neurons. Exactly. Think about Africa. They don't have motor neurons. Modens. And you're Modens. out here just speaking freely like they just get given out. Sorry. I don't know motor neurons don't go on trees. Yeah, sorry about that, Jackson. Nah. But yeah, sorry. I think- Please I, don't leave. I would like to touch back up on it. It's like, it is nice. I do love doing podcasts and thanks for having me on here. You guys have worked very hard to build a nice audience for your podcasts and you've been doing it so consistently for what, three, four years? This is our fourth season and <gasps> fuck me, man. Does that mean four years? Yeah, this is our so fourth season. you started year. in 2018. 40 episodes a year, cunt. Because you guys started when we were still living in the Pepperina house. Sort yeah, of, we, didn't you? for the first season, we just get smashed and ranted about <laughs> yeah. shit. Say outrageous <laughs> shit. Just oh, say I hate this guy. <laughs> <laughs> if you look like Marvel, you're fucked. Yeah. <laughs> and then, then we just tell our Matt tales. Was, Matt was a timid bitch behind the fucking hey. mi- mis- we, mix up. Hey. Then we just tell our fuck stories. Hey. How we kidnapped fucking. 
prostitutes and bash them. Well, that's Whoa. not nice. They were male. Well, oh, that's okay. Why is that any yeah. different? That's okay. No, that's, that's, true. Yeah, true. that's the world we live in, mate. And he was white. This is better. And he wanted us to. He tried to pay us. It was We were prostitutes. I'd love yeah, to do that. You haven't heard the job, story yet. Yeah, it's in. It's in the first season. It's it's our most Maybe fucked it's up story. Maybe it's the second season. It's oh. our most fucked up story, I would yeah. say. <gasps> Sorry. Oh, this is nice. Do you want to do this? You can bend it the other way. Oh, don't touch it. Don't touch it. Sorry, that was very. Uh, well, it's very, very. It. Like, now, what the fuck? Now, this um, fucking thing. I <laughs> wanted to stand up one. <laughs> and if you want. Do you, do you, you want this one? one? Now, oh, this is what fucking women that take steroids get big fat clits. Anyway, um, I think it really yeah, it's a true. Speaking fact, of right? of women, um, <laughs> Matt. <laughs> no, no, listen, listen, listen. Does Matthew Brown have No, no, this no. Jackson, you don't know about this. Okay? Oh, okay. Uh, no, we decided we we're tossing up whether to tell you or not. Why are you why is he looking at me like Because no, you know how oh, as you're aware, we the tried fuck to get are you grinning at? We tried to Hang get on. Isla on the Do you what? want to tell him that? All right, you tell him that. <laughs> Go on. I went on a date with your sister. <laughs> no, 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 that's not it. <laughs> No, they just good. hooked up. No, did you just kiss her? That's a uh, weird thing to do. Just finger her. <laughs> wait, wait, I'm trying to get my head around what I was just told. Because <laughs> I always say this for a joke. <laughs> I always say this as a joke. Like he can fuck my sister, but like I would, I don't mean it. Like, well, you sent me texts saying you wouldn't. You, you'd be... What? Oh! What did he send you text saying? Well, he told you. Told I'm not me like, to go, I'm you not... told me to fuck off. Yeah, yeah, no, no, exactly. Talk to me so anymore. I can't. I can't be too upset about it. It's like. But I would never fuck one of my friends. Oh, really? Just, yeah, yeah, they actually, it's out of bounds. Did you fuck her, Matt? No, you didn't fuck her. But I mean, yeah. wait. So you actually went on a date with my sister? Yeah. Oh, fuck. And what happened, Matt? Did, what? Did, what is he not? Did you? Isla didn't say anything. Has she not said anything? Oh, no, she fucking hangs out with this other dude. I thought she was like seeing someone. Well, are you gonna see her again, Matt? Well, I have been seeing her. That's the. What are you talking? Are you taking the piss? No, 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 no. Like legit. You actually been no, hanging out with my sister. I legit like her though. No, well, fucking if you like her and shit, like, that's weird. That's fucking weird, cunt. <laughs> Matt, you said you didn't like her. Well, I still on. don't know. You're laughing. I don't know. If you, you're taking. Are you legit pissed? Because if, like, if so, I might. We should probably cut this and have no, a conversation. No, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not. Should we do a bong break? No, I'm yeah. not pissed. I'm not a pissed. I'm not. We'll pissed. have a wait, wait, bong break. We'll come back to this. Okay. Bong yeah, hold this conversation. You actually. What? Yeah. Uh, bong break. <laughs> And um and we're back, um yeah. So as we we're saying, well, what um oh, I should we just really tell it's him kind him. of weird. I thought you would have come to me first and been like, hey, oh, I know dude, you've yeah, been saying this cold. to me. I honestly I'm just trying to put me on the spot. I didn't really well, like do yeah, it. Why didn't here. you just message me? Because I say all the time you to do it. Probably should have talked about this before. Yeah, we well, did no, us but too. Jackson, I thought I genuinely thought that it would be all right if he. Well, I mean, I, yeah, I, I, I'm okay with it, but it's like because I've told him to do it in a joking manner, but like. If you're if you're seriously about doing it, why didn't you message me and say something? It's pretty like fucked. Oh, dude. Yeah, yeah come to think of it, man. I don't know. We're on a podcast. I don't want to kill the vibe. It's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. After, no. but after this, we'll have to have a bit of a chat. It's kind of weird. I would oh. never go near like, like any of. Your I guess sisters. me and Matt. I guess me and Matt aren't really like well, well, Matt's, friends. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> anymore? <laughs> Not anymore. Oh, really? <laughs> Oh, fuck, dude. Yeah, I, how much longer do you need I me? I can't here? even look at it. I feel like my. I feel like I'm in a shit mood now. Oh, really? Mm. Well, let's just cut it. Well, you just got ages ago. I might just fuck off. All right, I'm gonna have a chat to Isla to see if this is true before I get too upset. But if that's the case, I'm. It's pretty fucking, pretty whack move, brother. All right. Well, yeah. Well, I guess we'll end it there with Jackson. Um, and also, is that what you want? Well, yeah, dude. We'll, we'll, we'll just cut we'll, if, if you want. We'll just cut the. Um, no, you have to cut it out. It's fine. Well, it's we'll like, just pretend. If we're I look back real angry, yeah, like oh, man, fuck it. It's just natural reaction. I, someone, my friend's fingering my sister, or well, old friend, but like, oh, you can't. I guess I said it for a joke, so I can't be that upset. But I mean, I just thought you would have come to me and said something. It's all right. Whatever. Moving on. Are you all right, man? Yeah, I just it's super. Awkward. Well, you shouldn't be, cause you. Yeah, <laughs> He's not angry. He wants you to fuck his sister, you fucking idiot. He wants you to fuck his sister as hard as you, you guys can. Are fuck. <laughs> <laughs> that was the lying segment, everyone. And Matt got done. Matt got done. Lying to him. He's not angry at you. Boom, I would boom. never. I would never, ever. I want you to finger her. 
<laughs> he said you could, Matt. It's not annoyed you at you. you. Of no, course, you're his friend. At what stage? God. God, you made that so awkward then when you believed that lie. Dude, I'm sweating. Fucking idiot. <laughs> You're sweating. How did you do that? I don't know. Marty told me to just go with it. And I, was like, I had to. I think it was a good level of acting there. It wasn't too much. Yeah, no, it was perfect. Was you fucking very, nailed very. that, Jackson. You I felt awkward. Like, I felt sick. Yeah. Yeah. Well, so you should have come. You we lied to you. You lied to me. That's a true. Well, I we, did know. We, no, but all three of Look, us made the plan to make, to make you believe me, it. Let me explain this, okay? <laughs> Told so you to make sense. The original plan was to lie to Matt, okay? And for and for us to... Uh, so I oh, wait, so I got done. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Michael just got done. He's only oh. just realizing. The original plan was we I, I, we told Matt. I still think I'm getting. Fucked we at told Matt here. that we were going to lie to Jackson and say that he's been on a date with his sister. Then I called Jackson and said, "Hey, we're gonna. Matt thinks we're lying to you. Get really angry at him when he tells you about the date with his sister." Then I call Matt to tell him that we're lying to Jackson, and to, and then J Matt goes. He picked it straight away. Goes. Oh no, because he's such a suspicious cunt now. He, he could said, you blame he him? Picked it straight away, and he goes, "Oh, I bet you're gonna reverse it on me, and you're gonna have Jackson get really mad at me." So he picked it straight away. Oh my god! Uh, so I, I like, live in a world of lies. What the fuck do you expect? So I was Respect. like, "All right, fuck it. You're in on it now too. So we'll let that go, and then we'll pretend to be lying to Matt. Michael will join in, thinking, ha, we got Matt, I and then bad. we got Michael. So yeah. the lie to Michael was that the lie was on Matt. <laughs> do you get it? And like, there's a point where I turn away. You'll see if you reverse. I look this way. As Did I'm you like, start feeling a bit bad for I how upset he was looking? Yeah, I was like, "Fuck, poor Matt." He's well, like, very good, Matt. <laughs> Very good acting, boys. The, the nail in the coffin for me was when I said, like, he's not really a friend of mine anymore. Yeah, I was like, yeah. oh. Because yeah. he is. Because he is. Well, I think I laughed a bit at that. I'm be then, gentle. There's a point where I turn away from the you guys and I'm like, oh my God, this is really awkward. Matthew yeah, Brown's definitely a very good friend of mine. I yeah. want you to know that. And you would be happy oh, if he is, had your sister. 100% full blown missionary. <laughs> we just filmed <laughs> that. We just Raw filmed. dog. Just Cut to be, them fucking cheeks, Tan. <laughs> just to be clear, I have not gone into that. Fucking raw dog. No, dumb. Chlamydia! Not on. My back hurts so much from the clapping. <laughs> Matt fell off his milking stool. Uh, Matt had a fall from the milk stool. <laughs> he had to support his weight when he was like this. <laughs> oh. Oh, also, by the way, that part where you guys just got me then. Here we go. We just filmed Inception 2. <laughs> yes. <laughs> this should be on TVs. <laughs> this should be on TV. We ate brains Look today. Look how worried Bosley yeah, looks. Bosley looks very concerned. I was just looking at him. <laughs> he thought you were upset. <laughs> Bosley, it's okay, darling. Bosley, oh, give, me, Bosley. give me some water. Oh, that was it's good. It's okay, darling. That was a good call by me. Oh, man. <laughs> anyway, oh, I, was, I quite enjoyed that. That's probably one of the best <laughs> lying segments that I've either been a part of or watched Dude, these lying segments are getting so... I sit there and I have to think so hard of yeah. how we're going to fucking... Let's make... Listen, let's make a pact right now. <laughs> Fuck <laughs> out. No, no, fucking no, believe it's not, it. Matt, this segment will die unless we band together. Us we three. have to band together, but you won't do it. Yes, I will. A gentleman's agreement right now, cunt, that we will stay together and lie to the rest of the world. Man, a gentleman's word is a gentleman's word. Oh. I don't want to shake hands because I kind of enjoy being dishonest. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's getting out of control. It's getting too hard. Jackson and Matt's, the hair. Dis Matt's untrusting. It's it's impossible. <laughs> so us three from now on. Yeah, but now if you break his trust after shaking his spit hand. It's a gentleman's agreement. Yeah, the fact that you just shook my spit hand must be, means you're it's in. A gentleman's agreement is a gentleman's agreement. It's a binding agreement. <laughs> okay. It's if you go against that word, you will be punished. I'm a coward pig cunt if I go against that Michael, word. Michael, you have to be in this too. He is. I shall hurt one. Okay. You what? Oh. All right, so from now on, we try and lie to other friends outside of the podcast room, okay? Someone like Lockie. <laughs> <laughs> uh, man, I've got some good videos in the works. I just wanted to say that really quickly. With what? With social some media? Videos? Some funny, yeah, social media videos. The first time in a while, oh. we've got some good plans. What do you got coming? Mm. Let's hear it. Let's just say, I'm going to pre-call it. Let's just say that sometime probably middle of November... You, you'll see us on the news in the Gold Coast doing a video. It'll be on the news by the end of that day that we do it. I guarantee it. What date? 
Who? Oh, I don't know if I could say a date. I don't know what now, date. are you are you going to come to the live show? What is date? she on our season finale? I'll tell you the what fuck date. Did you say to me? I'll come? fucking is see you. Are dead yet? Who? Who? Maddie. Just, Michael's not sure what we're talking Maddie, about. Maddie, no. Why would Maddie be dead? No, not Maddie. Just she. She. Oh. <laughs> On the 12th well, of November. Uh, Jackson, 12th of November. It's a Saturday night. <laughs> Where at? At the Judith Wright Center. What a that's dumb I, That's when I'm going to Jordan Peterson. So <laughs> Bullshit. shut up. Yeah. Is it? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Or the oh, time. For fuck's sake. What, what are What's you a, oh, shit. No, no, no. Yes. It's a Saturday night. Yes. Oh fuck! I gotta check that shit out. Yeah. You well, I guess it. we can try and move it to a Sunday. Oh, you Why don't you just we make it? Wait, we haven't done the ticket tech shit yet. Yeah, we haven't sold any tickets yet. So just hold off. I'm going to find that Thirteenth or the twelfth, all right? We have to confirm. <clears throat> but Jackson will be there. Is that right? Twenty third of November. It'll oh. be too late. Oh, the Jordan Peterson. Okay, yeah, fuck good. yeah. All right, well there you go. Look at Jackson, everyone, and that's what Jackson thinks of his big, sister. Big asshole. <laughs> Big old no, asshole. I was lovely. I've got this weird thing right now where every girl I find attractive, I just think about them shitting and I turn myself off. Yeah, wow. you love bum shit. Jackson loves tongue in bum. Not poo, boom. Not poo. Yeah, not, not pooey. <laughs> yeah, not pooey. But now I've got like this. I don't know if it's like a. Do you reckon pee- it's a young person thing though? Because like I cringe at the thought of a girl going anywhere near my ass. I asshole. just like the feeling of me a bit of a vulnerable, cowardice feeling, just being laid on your back and having your legs pulled back and just your bars all licked. <laughs> But let me tell you, if it's a f- if you clip your ass or shave it, and make it fresh, hop out of the shower while you're in there. Even put it like one one knuckle line in, clean the edges, clean the tiny little rims of the inside, extra soap. You can tell Matt's mesmerized. He's Come considering down. it. I'm already right. No, I'm man. I'm telling you, it's a notes. good feeling. And anyone that watching, if you've had it done by it properly by a good girl with a good tongue that won't be all well, oh, yeah. Go do it properly. It, it's nice. You just have to overcome that feeling. Of really? Like, mm. And what about you do it to girls as well? Oh, I'm like, I reckon I've eaten more ass than I have pussy. Yeah. So, so does it, is it, do you ever come across an ass that's a bit unkept? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and what happens then? What do you, yeah, just, how, you like, do, you just go, do you go down and up? It just depends. If I've got them on their back, I'll pull their legs back and I'll go like, Right from the top of the clit, right all down the pussy line, right to the bottom of the arsehole, into the arsehole, out, all the way back up, suck on the clit, 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 and they'll be, I'll start making some sounds, don't you fuck. And then you dip a fingy in, and then you pull it out and have a taste. All right. You just have to taste it. All right. You just have to taste it. Jeffrey Dahmer. It's Jackson Dahmer. <laughs> but there's nothing wrong with it. I've only ever had a couple of bad experiences. I remember after a festival in Sydney, maybe oh, I was about 21. After a festival? Future Music Festival. When oh. I was about 20, 21, I took a bird back. I was like chatting to it at the time. Um, Pouring and I started going, sweat. No, no, this one's pretty fucked, man. I'm, I started going down on her and I was getting my tongue pretty deep in there. You're not really supposed to lick the insides. It doesn't feel nice for girls. They like, like, like when you lick the clit. But it's on there. Top, a little bit, just tuck, tucked in a little bit top. Um, anyway, um, but yeah, like I was licking it and I was just trying to suck on in there, bro. I was just trying to get a nice little, I was trying to taste, taste what she's been eating, <laughs> taste what she'd been drinking and eating. And little, then after a little bit, I feel a bit of fabric. I'm like, oh fuck, oh. maybe it's a bit of toilet paper. Oh, no. no, maybe it's some tissue. Maybe she was wiping her pussy before we went home. So it didn't stink because it didn't taste great. Surprisingly, maybe it was some of her underwear had peeled off and been dried to her from the heat. Perhaps. <laughs> No, I look at this. I turn the light on because I was a little concerned. I grab it and there's a fucking tampon string. Ooh. Did she have a period? Well, fucks me. I fucked if I'd oh. known, cunt. I pulled it out. <laughs> Thankfully, it was only the tiniest Imagine little bit a baby's arm shot out and grabbed and pulled it back in. <laughs> so she must have been heavy on her period, but like she probably had it there because she was worried she'd get her period or maybe she'd bleed a bit at the festival. And I pulled it out and I've looked at it and a little bit of blood and whatever. And I was like, and I'm just straight back in. <laughs> surely, surely she would have been like, oh, hang on just one second. Man, some girls don't fucking care. As long as you just fucking you like make them, as long as you make them feel comfortable. Tell them they <laughs> lie to them, lie to them. Tell them it's fine. Even if it's not, it's just a man's duty to eat that shit properly. How many how many girls do you reckon you've been with? Them. Oh man, a lot. Like, and it's, and it's not something that I'm proud to sit here and talk about. Of how many? Because as I get older, I'm con- I'm not going to sit here and say I regret it because I fucking don't. Like, I'm content with staying single forever. Or I'm content with meeting someone. I don't care. <laughs> but there's a it's a big number. What some like of them are, under a thousand? Oh yeah, definitely under a thousand. Five hundred? Oh no, not five hundred. 
Oh, maybe 450. <laughs> maybe the higher oh. levels. No, I'd say it's. Oh, man. I, I want to speak my mind a bit, but I'm just going to sound like a cunt. All right, we'll there. Don't worry about it. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here to tell the truth and nothing but the truth. I want the people watching to watch and I want them to listen and I want them to see that. The Jackson that they once loved has returned. <laughs> and he has returned with a vengeance. And there's a story to tell. Lie to oh. them. I'd say it'd be around the 300 mark. Yeah, Which wow. isn't terrible. I'm a bit of life for like, fuck. When you think about 28 years, 28 times 12 is 330 no, I've done this before. six months old, roughly. Yeah. Think about that. That's like one a month. That's so, since you're an infant. <laughs> since since I was you're an infant. <laughs> since you're a killer baby. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. <laughs> but when you think about it, like, oh man, it's like. <laughs> Which you said, I'm the and the, man thing is, I haven't, man. <laughs> the thing is, I haven't got a notebook or in my phone where I'm like, oh, another one. Another one. I never really kept count. Matt I did when that. I was young. Man, he writes a whole fucking diary. I did about when it. I was young. I kept a count up until 100 because I was like, I'm going to tick it off at 100 and that'd be kind of cool. And I had I ticked it off around 100. Like when you were much, about 15? Pretty much by the time I was 18. <laughs> and, Jesus, man. That's and then <laughs> I'm not going to say the next part, but yeah, over the next few years, yeah. Things <laughs> escalated. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm going to say it off the mic. Oh, 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 oh my god! Yeah, cut that corner. Let's <laughs> cut that corner out there. Cut, you, like, come back as us saying, "Cut that." I'll probably yeah, talk yeah. about it one day in the future. Cut if I get told corner. I'm yeah. fucking I'm dying it. soon, then I'll tell. I'll tell everything. Yeah, tell them on yours. There's some bomb. fuck <laughs> shit I have done that we'll, no one even we'll knows. Put it Not even my book. bestest of closest. <laughs> we'll put it in the book. Yeah, we'll put put it in the book. When are we back? So kind of uh, yeah, we're, yeah we're, we got back when we said cut that Connor. Yeah. So you come in at us saying cut that Connor. <laughs> but yeah, so there's been a few. But what it's about just, what about um, STDs? Do you have a count? For I have that? only ever had chlamydia once in my entire life, and that's the really? only thing. Can I've ever we had. tell the story of you at the table oh. with chlamydia? You were around me this the time that the I had best. it. You were around me the time that I had it. <laughs> oh yeah, you, we lived with you, didn't we? <laughs> you think you heard about the fibers? Okay, I'm telling it. Okay. Oh, Michael, you tell the story, buddy. Okay. <laughs> I'm not ashamed of this. If anyone out there thinks it's weird to have had that, it's fucking. Yeah, we've all had it. Okay. We've all had yeah, something one Jackson, way or another. Jackson, Jackson oh had like a, 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 like a very unique chlamydia. Like he was developing every like ten minutes or so, cloth. a bit of blue cloth blue would come out cloth. of the tip Fibers. of his dick. It looked like Chuck's cloth. Yeah, but the tiniest thread, like a bit of floss. He'd pick it out and flick it on Michael wherever we were. <laughs> 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 we had be driving in a bit hey, of fucking blue cloth would hit my don't, face. Don't forget a very funny <laughs> moment when we we're all at breakfast with my mum. This is my. That's that's what I was gonna get to. Yeah. So I'm. I've just met Jackson's mum for the first time. We're at coffee She's club. So fucking. Sexy. We're sitting around the table for breakfast. <laughs> Busy restaurant. Anyway, we're sitting in the cafe. His mum's got her friend there. One of the family friends. <laughs> Random friend. And we're just sitting there. <laughs> Jackson's just swearing his ass <laughs> off. Yeah, fuck this and fuck that. I got he's chlamydia out at the <laughs> table. <laughs> and he's just Picking at his chlamydia and well, his mum sitting mom. sprinkling it into Michael's dish. <laughs> yeah. His mum sitting right next to him is just picking it. But you can't dish. catch it by eating it, so I didn't care. I didn't feel and his mum's friends just. She's my godmother. The, his godmother's <laughs> just like, what the fuck? And his mum's like, Jackson, stop. And like, it's just constantly telling him to stop. He's just flicking his cloth at me and into my food. And My mum has seen some shit. Oh, man. It, she has seen some Some of my shit. funnest. I love seeing you flirt with Isla and I love seeing you flirt with your mum. Yeah, Isla. that is very funny. It is so oh, good. Weird. It's, 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 not, it's not good. Because <laughs> I enjoy it. It's just culture. I enjoy it. It's just, just where I'm from. <laughs> it's all I know. <laughs> Maybe oh. I think you're weird for not doing it. <laughs> oh man, oh, Matt does. How far do you reckon you've been with your mum? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Technically, I fucked her because my dick was in her when I was born. Yeah. Oh, and you, you did start, all fucked your mum. No, no, my mum was a cesarean. I developed in the Cut throat of my mum. <laughs> <laughs> That's Germans, and then they everyone's penises were in their mum's <laughs> guts at one stage. I never came out of the vagina. I was a cesarean. You were a C-section. So I've never been. But if you do come out of the vagina, you haven't only fucked your mum. You've headed her. You have fisted her. So you I haven't fucked her. I was a C-section too. All right. Well, what about Matt's? Definitely. Oh, yeah, what, yeah, what, I Matt's I been quiet. Well, <laughs> Matt's been back <laughs> since. Matt's been back to That's choir. Disgusting. <laughs> Matt's been back to choir. Yeah, no, I was just, laid in an egg. That's kind of weird. I hatched out of an egg, a big circle of eggs. <laughs> I <laughs> popped out of an egg. <laughs> Man, if anyone's wondering why I've been squirming and moving a lot most of this time, because mm. I'm in a bit of pain. Oh, well done.
Your back's back. back. Your back's back. back. Your back's back. 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 And that, everyone, is Jackson O'Doherty. Or that is Baxson. Baxson <laughs> oh. <laughs> O'Doherty. <laughs> Man, I'm getting fucking tired. But it's been fucking wonderful. Are you hot there? Uh, Why is this seat so hot? It's just the lights. It's mad. How are you feeling? Look at your I'm dying, dude. I'm amazed you haven't turned to me so you smell like shit. You don't it's smell. He's fucking that baby's shaved. Bitch, dumb. Hey, sorry. <laughs> Speaking about babies, there's a good chance I'm having a kid. <laughs> what, are you buying one? No, nah, there's a good chance there's a woman out there knocked up with my kid, I was told. Really? Mm, no. Nah. That's, That's a exciting. It's a lie. Oh. Oh, we got, you just got done again. You've been oh, done oh, twice. Oh, 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 oh. How does that make Imagine you feel? Imagine Jackson is a fart. Yeah, I can. Man. Well, Maddie really wanted kids. Half the reason we broke up, literally. Like I'd say probably 50% of the reason was because I just continually told her daily, I never want fucking kids. <laughs> You won't have one You'd wake hour. up and yell at her as loudly as you You know, could. like I told her at the beginning, I said, look, it's a possibility. I said, this, you can't sit here and say for sure, like you could say you definitely don't want them. And then in five to 10 years, you might be like, you know what? Fuck it. I've done heaps of shit in my life. That's the next step. I just want to have a kid, mm. raise a kid, be a part of that journey and, and just sit on the sideline and raise this cunt, make him cool and strong to get <laughs> followers. <laughs> But but anyway, she really wanted to have kids and start a little family. She's got a new boyfriend already. I'm very happy for her. And I mean that. And it's the best case scenario. We split up, had a little bit of time. She got a new boyfriend pretty quickly. I've moved on. Now I've got time to focus on things like my podcast. I've got my surgery. Time to put effort and energy all into myself. I have to go back and forth between America and traveling, keeping people happy. I've been single for over seven months. And this is like the most clear headed I've felt in a very long time. And I like it. All right, guys, we're gonna. Do you want to stick around for the Bachelor Brown segment? Yeah. All right, the, we're gonna about to do <laughs> Bachelor Brown, Bachelor Brown, Bachelor Brown. He's right behind you. Oh, yeah, cool. Aim for the stars, boys. <laughs> Shoot for the stars, boys. And we're back. All right, we're moving right along <sighs> to Bachelor Brown. Had to get Bachelor out of the Brown, Brown, Brown. He's right behind you. He's right behind you. Brown, this Brown, is Brown. a segment where Michael and I have hand selected women. To have a phone date with fucking Bachelor Brown because he's in his mid to early 40s and he's still single and alone. Fucking, I'm 35. Wanking and playing games all weekend and not talking to anyone and we're sick of it. There was definitely some games on the weekend. All right, so this person we're about to call, Matt. Mm. Get ready. It's exciting. What's her name? I'm not telling you. Why not? I don't know. I just don't feel like it. Oh, this is good. Oh, I don't want to do it now. Yep. Oh, I forgot about it. Yes. Hang on. Let me just make sure I'm it- connected to the roadcast. Oh. Would I be happy? Yeah. Oh, yeah, dude. This is memory clean. All right. Oh, I don't like the sound of memory clanes. <laughs> All right, here we go. 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 Fly like headphones on and relax, Matt Brown. <clears throat> Oh, actually, I'm, this is the one the most nervous I've been in quite some time. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, he's so nervous and sweaty and pale. Yeah, I'm. Hello. Hello, you are. Uh, it's Marty and Michael, and also Matt Fucking Brown, and you're on the Marty and Michael Fully Actual Podcast. And now we have sitting next to us a very nervous, twitchy, pale, sweaty, fucking Matt Brown. Okay, Something. and and um, we're going to pass it over to him, and Matt is going to talk to you, see if there's some sort of spark, some sort of connection, maybe some chemistry, and to see if maybe you guys have a future together. All right, Matt. Oh, exciting. Yeah, it's, this is very exciting. I'm going to pass it over to you now, <laughs> Matt. Don't fuck this up, Matt. Remember, confidence, you can do this. Off you go, Matt. Chest out, chest out. Up, stand proud, cunt, on that milk stool. <laughs> um, what's your name? The guys wouldn't tell me what your name was. Do I have to tell you? Yeah, of course. You can make one oh. up if you want. Lucy. Lucy. Okay. Oh, come on, Matt. Fucking talk to him, Matt. Oh, they, they've really built this one I'm a, up. I'm and a hot Lucy. You're a hot Lucy, okay. Um, yeah. They've really built this one up, so I'm quite nervous because I feel like you oh, have really? a, some sort of connection. Do you have any idea? Me. Do I have any idea? Do you idea? remember any Lucy's? No Lucy's, no. Come on, Matt. Talk to her, Matt. Ask her some fucking questions. This has to... forgot about me. Uh, whereabouts are you from? <laughs> Australia. And where in Australia are you from? 
Okay. Or maybe you maybe you've subscribed to me. I've subscribed to you. <laughs> what do you do? Only fan. Really? <laughs> we chat all the time, Matt. We chat all the time. Fuck. I've no idea. Use your questions. Um, so you're from Brisbane and you do OnlyFans and we chat all the time. Well, not all the time. Okay. Tell her about your DVD collection. Occasionally. Uh, um, Tell her about the DVD I've got a DVD collection. <laughs> <laughs> what sort of DVD collection? Um, well, Who has DVDs these days? Yeah, I know. I used to work at a video shop. Years ago, oh, proudly, yeah. proudly worked there for ten to fifteen years. Blockbuster, yeah. Blockbuster, yeah. Was that in Palm Beach? That was Ooh. not in Palm Beach. <laughs> you used to get me in trouble for my late fees. Yeah, probably. Oh, <laughs> I gotta ask a question. Do you have a kid? Yes. Oh, he so, does remember. Okay. I know exactly. He's what it got is it now. engraved on his walls <laughs> in his room. In the DVD collection. <laughs> yes. Is she top five, Matt? <laughs> That's <laughs> Matt, so you've determined you you've worked out who it is, Matt. Is she top five now? And if she is, who do you remove from your current top five selection? Holy shit, that's really hard. Hard top to see. Five, Hang on, are you guys forcing me into How top many five? No, 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 we're just asking, man. Well, there's... There's been like 30. <laughs> there's been like 30, 30? Da- 30, 30 dates that Michael and Hang I teed up. Before we even go to top fives, what are you doing ringing, <laughs> coming on here? <laughs> I feel like you're either forced or... Anyway. No, no, it was it was casually mentioned and, and, um, and eagerly accepted brown... I'm I'm willing to help out. <laughs> well, um, oh, stop! Both of you, stop right now. Or you'll fall I wish you could see what was happening right now. I guess you will in a week, but <laughs> it's disgusting. so Matt. Hard decisions need to be made in love. Do you wish to to put this person who you know in your top five? Or? Yeah, she's a top five. Oh! We have oh an my update. God. Oh my god. We have an update. Get the board. We don't have a um a fly like Lila. Oh, oh, we don't have a fly like fly la la la. That's alright. We can we'll we'll rub it out when we, we can find one. Alright, so who do you remove? Oh fuck, it's tough days. Well, I don't know who is at the bottom? Um uh, it's Gone, Ali. Oh yeah. No, we, we Which replaced is my ex. Um Oh yeah, yeah. The Ali oh, the yeah, ex. Yeah, fuck, yeah. this is a tough one. It's time to go. I can't get rid of Greg, he's too much of a legend. Maybe you can just have a top tick. Yeah, is that what you want, mate? No, um, because <laughs> that's too much to do. Top five is hard enough to deal with, let alone sing her a song. Fuck it, man. Sing her no. a little love potion. No. Um, oh, we're gonna have to get rid of Jasmine. Oh, Jasmine has uh, been cold, and Lucy oh, or Carly. We've said her name. We can say her name. I didn't say her name, but yeah, that's who it was. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Carly is a new top five member. Well done, Carly. Now, Carly, ah. I'm going to give um, Matt your number after this podcast, if that's okay with you. And you guys can just have a chat and see what happens and maybe go on a date, all expenses paid Shut for me and Michael. Stop. And just see what just happens, stop all right? stop saying things. <laughs> Coerce. Stop saying things. <laughs> oh. Do you know... Do you, uh, Matt. Car- Carly's memory of me would have been with hair. Yeah. And now She's I have seen no you hair. without it though. She's seen you without yeah, it. Yeah, I know that. It's just yeah. Just wear hats and wigs. All right, we're old now. Or that, or that, that ghillie suit you just had on. Put that on. <laughs> mm. <laughs> I'm glad I'm not wearing it for this bit. <laughs> oh, this would be weird. Um, oh, very good. <laughs> All right. well, thank you so much for coming on, Carly. And thank you Matt, for coming on. Carly. I reckon. Fuck it. Since you guys are childhood friends. I think we can take this to the next stage of a feel up and a pash. All right, yeah. stop. All right, Matt, are you going to? No, Matt's going to leaning in no, for no, a no. pash, and currently. he's going to be grabbing in five seconds. Are you okay with this, Carly? Sure. All right, five, you must. Con- yeah, you four, must consent. Three, two, two one. Go. Oh, go Matt, that's Matt, so grab, inappropriate. Grab, You're grab, so stop grabbing. No, not Matt. there. Keep going. Keep Matt, going. So Tongue her. Matt. Tongue her. Stop. Stop. Tongue. Stop. Matt. <laughs> Matt. 
I can't believe Carly's on the. She's up on the wall. She's she's willing. (laughs) Three, two, one, grab and kiss. Oh my kiss! Oh my god, Matt. Matt is frigid tonight. Sorry. All right, Carly. Thanks heaps for coming on, and um, yeah, I guess we'll chat to you real soon. See All you, right, Carly. No Thank you. Have See a great ya. night, Carly. Bye. 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 Oh, that's good. That's good. Childhood memories. Oh, Muddy did good. Muddy did good. Are you like, wow, how the fuck did they do that? Oh, I know there's, I know how it's happened, but. How has it happened? We'll talk about it later. <laughs> Oh. No, I just I saw Carly at a um a party recently and we got talking and how about how she knew you and then we I mentioned it mentioned it and she immediately was like, Yeah, okay, no worries. I'll come on. That's it. Now there she's top no, five, just I, like I, that. I barely know so her. I wouldn't be, her to come on. I barely no. know her. I wouldn't be like, no, no, you're doing it, you're doing it. Dude, you she was willing for you to pull up put up on a wall, fill her up and kiss her. She's single now, Matt. Carly, she loves you. Way out of my league. Matt Brown. Hey, How oh. dare you, Matt Brown? Matt, you need no, more confidence. None of that, Matt. We need. You've, we are the friends that always bring you up. We never ever bring you down. You're down Fuck in the dumps, off. cunt. You're in a fucking gutter. Anyway, in a ditch on the side of the road, and we're, we're lifting you, you out and lifting you up. We're not into only beautiful pushing angels. forward beautiful O'Doherty family members, only fans, ex girlfriends, ex girlfriends. Now we're bringing you Greg childhood, childhood memories. <laughs> Man. Children, basically. Uh, we know, are bringing you kids that are know, older now. Uh, I'm in that point where I'm like, anyone watching from school probably just laughs at me and thinks I'm a fucking loser for doing a podcast. But I was, I was like, I wonder if anyone from school would actually call in. Wait, 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 wait. What, what did you say? Like, did, so, we are the best. Yeah, I know. But remember how you guys went through that period of time where like people were like, you guys making videos on the internet and like, because you weren't successful yet and we give you shit. Yeah. I had that, I ran into some people I knew not like a year ago now, but it sort of gave me that sort of Brown, impression. You are in the best care. and it biggest podcast inf- in the world. It doesn't bother me. It's I'm just, just saying. the best podcast. We are the best. Did you say so, that? Yeah, of course. Yeah. I said you guys should watch more. Sorry. Sorry. Anyway, anyway thank you, Carly, is, for coming well, on. Wow, you've got Brown. childhood fucking girlfriends now coming on. This is crazy. Never dated her. Yes, yeah, same thing. <laughs> same thing. All right, should we open this up? No. no. What do you mean? We have so much more shit left to do, bro. We're moving on <sighs> to On This Day, which is a segment where Matt Brown uses his journalistic integrity and skills. And he comes in early, real early, around 4 a.m. sometimes. And he researches so hard about a historic event that happened on this day <sighs> in history. Okay. So, sorry. On this day, on this day in 1996, the Rice Bubbles characters Snap, Crackle, and Pop tortured and killed a family of wild pigs in the woods. It is believed they were heavy meth smokers and were on a 10 day bender at the time. The snapping, crackling, and popping could be heard by passing hikers, as well as the screeching of the wild pigs. Snap, Crackle and Pop were arrested two days later when they were found by police swimming in a pool filled with milk. They were forced to go to rehab and then decided to change careers and colour themselves brown and turn into Cocoa Pops. And let me tell you something right now, cunt. That's not fucking on, cunt. I, Matt Brown, will not stand for pig fucking unless it is consensual sex. Say no to unconsensual pig fucking, cunt, or get off my property. I am Matt Brown forever, cunt. Standing for that? No, we didn't. You don't want to stand for that. Stand for that. What passion in your writing in your on this days recently? Yeah, what wow. you are very, very social justice. What a fire! Oh, we <laughs> love that. No, you. yeah, you love uh, f- uh, f- very activist, uh, political, it's very good. Very the environment political. is in danger, Matt. Anyway, moving on. Sorry. Next, we have a random diary that I found in my um, cupboard of my mother's um, horse shed, and it's just random diary entries. So, entry number 19 million 875,888. Fucking hell, hey. <laughs> okay, sorry. Let's go. Every time. <laughs> the fuck is that? <laughs> Stop saying fish. 888. You say fish if you're talking about that. Anyway, today was very windy. 
My friends all went to the park after school and flew their kites. I asked mum and she laughed. I thought to myself, I will make my own kite. I went to the bin and got an empty packet of chips out. Then I sticky taped some string to it. I ran to the park and threw my kite in the air. The chips packet ripped off the string and blew away. The other kids all laughed at me. I cried and got really bad windburn on my face. It was such a good day. I even smiled. Oh, wow. I guess it feels you were being included a bit. And in a way, your kite flew the highest. That's yeah. pretty special. What was it? Lay's Light and Tangy? I, I, really, I really can't remember. It's probably home brand. <laughs> like it would be fucking <laughs> black and gold or some shit. <laughs> black and gold biscuits. And I was told they were chips because they were so old, they were salty. <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> oh god! Now it is time for Michael's fucking Bible, where Michael has written all of his pearls of wisdom into one fucking book. And while he reads this, he is Beezus. Do you understand? The the Beezus, Jesus of B. Sorry. Okay. Now listen up, Matt. <laughs> okay. This is called Chapter Brown's Truth. Oh no. <laughs> Fucking hell. I like it already. Women woo men, which causes men to go in women. Once a man has gone in a woman, a new man or woman comes out of a woman only if the man comes in the woman. Science has been like this since the beginning of time. Up until recently, the they's say. They say that just through your own belief, you can change your biology, giving men superpowers to give birth to, if they so choose. Matthew Brown has got something to say. Huh. He would like to tell us. Go ahead, Brown. Shut up. <laughs> That's what you, you told me about that. Yeah. Is that it? Shut up. Shut up today. Yep. All right. It's pretty racist, but all right. They are not a race. <gasps> wow. They are a person. Pretty controversial thing to say. Now, where is that black, black book hunt? All right. right now it is time for Matt Brown's black book, where he has detailed every single sexual experience he's had since he was a fucking infant. You fucking sick fuck. They are very graphic. They are very disgusting. Skip this if you can't handle it. Do you understand? This will not be easy on your ears, pigs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> setting a trap at the public library to hunt nerds with low self-esteem. I was on my hands and knees and had flattened my body out so I looked like a table. I was waiting like this for four hours already, hoping that a nerd would place their books on my back and sit at me. I decided to take a break and maybe move my trap to a busier part of the library. I inflated my body to its original state and started walking around. I saw a few students studying in the corner, but other than that, the library was nearly empty. Damn it, I thought. I needed more people for my trap to work. I continued walking around the library, and then I spotted something. At the end of a wall of books, hidden at the end, I saw a door. My eyes zoomed in on the door. Ooh, what's this? I see a small hole in the middle of the door. I didn't know where the door led, but I assumed it must be the door to an old storage room. I scuttle over like a sand crab for a closer look. My damp eyes scan my surroundings. The door was hidden from view from the rest of the library by bookshelves. The circular hole in the door is roughly one centimeter in diameter. It seems I have found myself a cute little glory hole. My urges immediately get the better of me and I feel the maggots in my nutsack start to writhe. I flip my soft, sticky slug out and begin feeding it into this hole. The hole is far too small. I become impatient and start gently palming my little brown into the hole. 
I become a little harder and bigger, which makes it even more difficult. I become frustrated and start hammering hard with my palm. Bang, 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 bang. Come on, you little cunt. Then finally, my knob squeezes through the small hole. The excitement makes my shaft start to swell, so I didn't have much time. I start fucking forwards. I didn't feel anything on the other side, so perhaps this wasn't a glory hole, but I was too de- in too deep to stop now. I stab and ram and drive my hips into the door. The edges of the small hole start scraping the skin off my dick, but it's working. Now half my shaft was through the tiny hole. Come on! I scream. I keep pummeling my ripped up pleasure stick through the small hole. Suddenly, my entire shaft slides through the hole as all of my cock skin is torn off. My rock hard, de-gloved little brown is now entirely through the hole. Ah! The pain excites me. I bang away for a little longer and then feel my hot mints powerfully eject from my little brown with the pressure of a fully open tap. I spray my fuck chutney into this room and let out a howl as I do so. What are you doing? The sound of the librarian's voice snaps me out of my fuck trance, and I pull my skinless cock back out of the hole and quickly tuck into my pants. Oh, nothing. Uh, I just can't find a book I'm looking for. Just as I finish speaking, the door I had just fucked swings open towards me. There, standing in complete shock, was what looked like a teacher. I look past her and see that this was not a storage room at all. It was a large room filled with special needs students who was learning how to read. My mince was caked onto the ceiling and walls of their room and most of the students were crying. The teacher stood in front of me, completely stunned. Her and I stared at each other and said nothing. The only thing that broke the silence was the gentle sobbing of the students behind her. I was horrified at my mistake. I quickly slam the door close and bound powerfully past the librarian. I bound backwards straight through the second through a second story window and land on the ground on my back. I twist around like an injured pig and look up at the window I just come through. I see the librarian's face peer out of the broken window. Just as I begin bounding home as fast as I could, I can feel my skinless cock bleeding into my nappy and I cringe at what I had done. I will never hunt in that library ever again this week. <laughs> oh man that's so a hell of a mistake it works you can do, source more powers or like continue to live on if you just fuck not only humans but objects too you can't tell these stories it's a bit late now brown town <laughs> you shocked a whole room full with not Stop. only students no 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 no, 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 no. we're not going on there <laughs> He's still embarrassed about the act that he did. His skinless cock <laughs> flailing about like a hose, spraying the ceiling with mints, and he's banging his hips into the door. Those students would have been shitting themselves, Matt. It was a special act. It's a one centimeter hole that's that big. Yeah. And he squeezed his cock through and degloved it. Oh, man. Imagine that. Is that why it looks like that? Good. Next segment. It's like a red rocket always. Pink. <laughs> Pink tinge. Pink binge tinge. Oh, shit, man. All right, moving right along. What do we have now? What do we have now? Um, we've done the lying segment. So now, well, let's do some questions first. I mean, some, yeah, some questions first. First of all, let's do the fucking comment of the week Moo. this is a second comment competition that we have where Matt Brown picks a comment from last week's episode and he puts it on a board and out of that board there's going to be one extra person who wins a thousand dollars and you, Matt hasn't updated, updated that board since like <laughs> it's halfway him. through the show, fucking show, season show, show it let's have a look at John it has I've got the all the looks. comments though so yeah, Matt will probably Matt, Matt will probably do it right before the season finale. It's probably like I, I, six. I, I, comments I'm going to say I don't reckon it will ever get done. <laughs> we have to because we have to give a thousand dollars to someone. Yeah, we got to give it away, so it'll be done. I've got all the comments. <sighs> we also got to figure out a way to reveal the comment winner when the time comes on the live show. Well, I reckon anyway. we could put all the comments, comments in a heart to the universe, mean? the University of Michael Facebook page, and then they decide which every is the single funniest. comment. Yeah, no, you mean from the board? Yeah, from the board. Yeah, I'm, t- I'm talking about the other comment. Oh yeah, yeah, that will be. Oh, that'll be yeah, like you do a, numbers. So you do, you draw, you put one, one of thirty nine. Yep. And, and then, then um, and then you pick out, out number thirteen, and yeah, then from and then number thirteen, number and you 13. pick number two, and see yeah. how many comments still in thirteen. Mm, exactly. That's exactly what I was going to say. Actually, I'm pretty sure I said that. I believe you did that, Matt. All right, comment of the week is. 
I'm the Swiss Army of the Week. <laughs> um, I like that voice. I wish you could do that more. All right, comment of the week went to Trent Hunt. All right, cool, cool, Isles, Isles, Underscore eighty seven, depending where he's from. Um, all right, it's a bit of a long one. Can't Not wait to hear about the, the brownery on the news. news. Gruesome discovery as hundreds of mince-filled bodies and small whale found in the slaughterhouse. Man seen bounding backwards from the scene yelling, I'm Matt Brown and I needed to have. Yeah, well, I can see that happening one day. If you relapse. That's fly. Like, there's a lot of room for burials here, but I think it'd smell. Oh, well, there's a cemetery over there. Done. Sorry. All right, well done. You're in the running for an extra $1,000, Trent. And now we move... To, to questions. questions and this is where we answer your questions the qu the questions that are commented on the Mighty Michael fully actual YouTube channel we answer the questions with the most likes first so once you've commented your question have a scroll through and like the questions that you also want us to answer if you don't answer your question this week we'll probably answer it next week or something so just keep your comment heaps and also give us a five star review on Spotify and like the video and, and subscribe yeah not many people do that like it we get say let's be fucking 500 mediocre. likes we have like 10,000 views on average one, That's one in 20. One in 20 people will that like That is it. really, really sad. Yep. Like so, that fucks us. And the 20 people who watch us, one person will put their hand up and stand up and go, and so no, I'm, I'm I like supporting this, you guys. I, I like actually this. support you. So why don't we, let's get it to two in 20. Um, this question has come up a few times uh, from different people, but it got quite a fair amount of likes and the person has asked it for several podcasts in a row. <laughs> Um, <laughs> that's good to the point where he says Brown was scared to ask but it's just something we've brought up and spoken about plenty it's of times it's the DMT one yep yeah. um, he, uh, he said uh, if uh, if we were to send some DMT would you do a video with it it'd be oh, great to see Brown be look I'm, I'm down yeah, yeah. I'm, it's I'm down. not something to just fucking do on a podcast From you need but uh, it's over in like we need minutes. to hold the space we need some shamans we need blessings it's over in 10 we minutes we need though, right? fucking yeah, James is a shaman no no we need no, real he's been to university for shamans no nah, we it is that's <laughs> when you go the time you and I oh, did it was... after a few beers come yeah yeah I know that's when I saw yeah, the I need... machine elf yeah, I feel like lovely. they did not like me that, that was lovely. they fucking hated me and it's not well, something bring a knife with you come oh, alright no we'll doubt. do it yeah, I reckon we do it, especially no. Matt. It's not something to fuck with. Would you do it? I'd do it if Brown did it. I'll do it, but not on the podcast. No, that's what they well, want. We have to film it. Yeah, oh, yeah I don't, oh, we can film it if you want, but I, don't, I can't function on the podcast. It doesn't seem Man, like it. Look, we might do it, it for is, the website. Honestly, if you are thinking about doing DMT or you, oh, hang you on. are considering it, it is the most intense thing you'll do in your life. And I fucking swear by that. And if you say it isn't, it's because you don't know how to fucking pull a bong. Um, no, here's what we should do. We should do it in here and switch the podcast gear on. And if we want to talk, we can. What the fuck? That way we can film it in a podcast scenario like they want. Oh, man. I, I'm I'm still second guessing. I would yeah. hate to do it with cameras you, on. You don't like the psychedelics or anything anymore, though. Well, I, like, if you have some bad trips, which I've had, and you, man, it is, you didn't pull the bong. Well, I tried. I just, my lungs wouldn't do it for me. It's like, if you go to the other side, you fucking me. It is the most intense thing you'll ever do. Going there is like... Do you scream? Well, you see... Uh, 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 yeah, you uh, were like that uh, literally for like a minute. And then you came back and you were like, oh yeah, I saw the elves. And then we just carried on drinking. <laughs> yeah, and then like... For Michael, sort of it was reassess like an hour, it. Yeah, it feels like you're gone for a bit longer, but man. And like salvia, which is similar to DMT... I'm going to try this. I just want you guys to support it, okay? Yeah. It might not be very good. Oh, God. Don't mention his name. Oh, no, it's a shit. It's no. I can already tell. Dude, do the shit. No. Dude. No, no, I can't. It's honestly, it'll spray shit. I'll spray <laughs> shit. Dude, I wish you did that when Jackson was here. <laughs> the last two podcasts. Imagine I just sprayed shit and then I just sit down in it. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be supportive of that. <laughs> but, yeah, Someone would you do house. DMT, Matt? Got you. Lied to yeah, yeah, but I'm nervous to do it on camera. Yeah, it is. Will no that come joke. up in drug tests? No, no, because it's in your cunt already, you dumb bitch. We'll do it on the hot. We'll do it on. We'll do it on the Christmas holidays. Oh man, I would. I'll I'll be the shaman for you guys. I'll get the fucking. 
I'll do the room and no, I need you on it. You should heat up I spoons and burn us while we're tripping <laughs> on the forehead. <laughs> 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 up spoons and burn us. <laughs> oh, that would be so abrupt. I wonder what would happen <laughs> mid trip when you're in the other realm. I wonder if it would bring you back. I guess like it's just like this warm sensation on your third eye. Yeah, your third eye start crumbling in front, <laughs> and then you get trapped in the other dimensions. The portal is destroyed. <laughs> oh man! Oh man! I would love, <laughs> love to see what you would, if what what you'd see if you broke through. I wonder what would you'd fucking. One day go I will. You'd just see a, a a man perfectly sleeping. I'd see my German family. <laughs> would you do it, James? Yeah, see, it's yeah. it is it, and it isn't something to take lightly. You can't just be like, yeah, let's get on DMT. Yeah, I, I don't want that anxiety in the back of my brain yeah, knowing yeah. that something's filming me. I remember Mon was like, let's film it as I was going, and I was like, no, don't film it. And then the whole trip, I'm thinking I'm getting filmed. Like, <laughs> but you were just sitting there like just looking at the <laughs> <laughs> yeah. and then you but, came back. But I wasn't in the room; like I was somewhere else. And then, yeah, but like- I should have came and felt you. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a squeeze. <laughs> oh man. <sighs> I would love to see you boys do it, but yeah, it's not something we should film. It's but not- it's over so quickly. That's the appeal that it's like, even if it is horrific, it's like, it's only- <laughs> Yeah, a, but a it's minute. like, it's like anything that's horrific or trauma. It's just cause it, it lasts a fucking half an hour or 10 minutes. And then you got to deal with the rest of no, the but like a bad, a bad trip, like acid or mushrooms, you have to deal with that for like four hours. Yeah, but then you got to come back and assess your life and go, wow. No, but a bad trip, like you, when you're scared and anxious for four hours with DMT, you can be scared and anxious, but like it's over in a minute. Yeah, and most of the time you will not remember what happens because it's that fucking intense. Well, maybe I did shoot through then. No, no, no you, you were I still did. with it. Oh, I yeah. think I did. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so whatever I'll do it. What so if I see my, what if yet. you see our future? Marty will do it. Marty will do it if you send DMT and I'll have a little bit. I just don't want to go to that place again. Sorry, all the way. What's the point of a little bit? Whenever yeah, well, you get to see three D and sacred geometry. It's pretty sick. I want to stay here and look at all the pretty patterns. All right, but yeah, we could just. Yeah, no, sorry. All right. Next question is from Alana Hyden. Oh, I know. Sorry, sorry. That was just a it's comment. Okay. Hey, it's okay, Matt. Honestly, I don't mind. Sorry, we're she just supporting. had a really nice comment. Um, so question is from J C. Um, could you arrange a collaboration yep. with Arnie Donner? A sketch or anything or any type of video two unstoppable forces in one video would be beautiful dude like we would love to but i don't even it'd be rude of us to even ask him they're they're far superior than we are in content in terms of content they're like we do fucking like fucking shitty little pranks and they do like really sketches well and- produced sketches they're like they went to like university to study you know the yeah. arts and stuff they're fucking like they're like it'd be like a fucking nurse asking to do surgery on some cunt with a surgeon cunt morning brown so um, yeah we would love to but yeah. um maybe one day who knows yeah they are very very funny so. <laughs> uh next question is from peter hunt all right i'll see i'll see if he's around peter <laughs> here he is have you ever had ideas for videos where they have started as one idea and ended up being completely different? Yep. Remember that um, prank, that social experiment we filmed, Give It To Me? That started out as a completely different idea. I forget what it was. Really? Yeah, and then we just fucking snatched something off someone. We had, this Years ago, when we first started, we always went to unis and did social experiments. And we just walked up to people and just, well, people we didn't know and we're, we're just sitting there and be like, oi, give, give me your drink. Just yeah. give it to me. Give it to me. And look, like, what? You want my drink? Yep. Give it to me. Give it here. Can't and then, say anything. And you say, and then, people give you their phones? Yeah. And, and, and literally the, nearly every single time we would take whatever we were asking for, walk off and no one would even follow us. Mm. It's like that everyone scared just of sort of does whatever mm. they're told. It's unbelievable. But no, it's, people are scared of confrontation. They'd rather go, oh, that guy just robbed me. I'm going to call the cops than to follow you and go, give me my phone back. I remember I snatched Some this will. piece of rubbish out of this dude's hand. <laughs> and he's, well, he and he just so looks back shocked. at me like, what the hell just happened? <laughs> so shocked. That was such a funny video. People just literally gave us whatever we wanted. But I'm still, it, it, just give it to me. Give it to me. And then, you know, oh, fucking hilarious. But yeah, Sorry. that started out as something different, did it? Yeah, I forget what it was. Sorry about that. Yeah, we've done a few things that start out. The AFL Grand yeah, Final. what happened thing. the other day. We were going to do, oh, we yeah, well, here's something for the website. 
we we're going to film to see if piss ch- tastes different after asparagus. I guess we sort of planned that though. That work? No. So we haven't done we that sprung yet. We sprung it on Julian and it was a surprise little birthday vlog. Because your piss smells different after you eat this. Guess how much Apparently. we spent on Julian. How much? It's probably like two grand the whole day. On what? Gucci. Why? I don't know. He loves Gucci. Yeah. But why would you? Anyway. His birthday. Oh, yeah. Sorry. I forgot about that. Sorry. <laughs> Makes sense. See, you added that key ingredient to the story. Sorry. Um, next question is from Fuggin Dog. Um, uh, segment idea. Oh, sorry, I only bring this up because he said segment idea. Um, and then it sort of goes into what you guys have been working on uh, with James. So he said, uh, segment idea, reacting to fan videos, watch fan videos, and maybe best video at the end of the season wins a prize. But I guess that's a good way to hook what you're working on at the moment. McClally. McClally. Yeah, we've got a new page at the University of Marty and Michael where we're posting fan videos and all the money it makes minus expenses. So obviously we need to keep some aside for tax um, and a small percentage uh, will be going to James because he'll be posting all the videos and shit. We give all the money it earns back to the fans. But um, yeah, we got to talk to f- try and get a hold of Facebook because it's already been flagged for... Um, an original content which it's not it's our uh, fucking content anyway so give it a follow University of Marty and Michael yeah on Facebook it's different to the University of Michael it's two different pages so yeah, yeah. god sorry sorry um, um uh, next uh, question is in. from <laughs> Alex Main. Uh, do you think the annoying odd large hours of tennis coaching helped you develop the work ethic it takes to create the social media career that you've built? I'm currently in a job that whilst it's okay, has extreme hours and a lot of shit I don't want to do. My thoughts are this is good training for a while until I'm ready to pull the trigger on my own solo and quit whatever the fuck you were doing. That's no. not leading to what, what you're do you doing mean? right yeah, now. No, because that people can't just, what do you mean? Well, that's what we did. And we still had to Uber and fucking yeah, yeah. Well, off. work, work around what you want to do. Don't just put all your yeah, hours. That's into not that what he's saying. Thing. He's asking is, is working hard good for you in oh, the long run? Yeah. Yes. Working hard at anything gives you the fucking, the balls and the um, but halve your hours with your job and then put what you want to do half the hours into that because if you're just doing all the hours into something you want to do it's pointless but working hard is never a waste even if you're if you if it's fucking seems pointless it's working hard is never a waste but yeah tennis coaching really wasn't oh, max hours no what do you mean dude if fucking one hour of tennis coaching is like at least two hours of a normal job that's true you're, you're running around you have to be super high energy to keep the kids attention there's people parents watching you so you can't waste a minute if you go and you can't go to the toilet for five minutes because mm. then some cunts just paid you ten dollars while their kid sits on the court so no fucking tennis coaching wasn't just a few hours 30 hours a week of tennis coaching is like 60 hours of normal normal job not to mention the split shifts start at 5 finish at 10am and then you have a 5 hour break in the middle of the day and you come home at 9pm at night so you start at 5 you get home at 9.30 it's massive and even though you've got that time during the day where there's nothing you can't enjoy it because you know work's coming and my god I'd rather work all day yeah, I'd rather not done. have that break. Get it done. But yeah, fuck tennis coaching. And yeah, but I just say try and yeah, it's good to work hard, but also try and limit get your on hours Centrelink. with yeah. Get on Centrelink and then focus on your art. Depend. It also depends what his situation is. He could have a house to deal with a Matt family Brown. and all the support. Matt that. Brown. Sell like, the house. Sell the house. Yeah, sell everything. Burn it down. That's if you can do that. Insurance. I agree. Sell the house if you can burn afford it down. that and go move, to somewhere cheaper. Move to Mongolia. Matt's been there on holy, holiday. And he swears you? by that Mongolian beef. He loves yeah. it. Mongolia they is They shave good. it straight off the horses there. Mongolia is pretty good. I do rate it. Beef <laughs> off horses. <laughs> he really likes it. Yeah, it's good. Next question. Next question. Have we been going for two hours? Mm. No. Four. No, it's about, we're just past an hour and a half. There's a, <laughs> there's a bit of breaks in there, so we're all right. Um, um, have you had a, that, uh, next, Connor, uh, next question is from Connor Aldersley. Uh, um, have you ever had a Karen go off at you in boys, boys during, during a public oh, star prank? Fuck yeah, me. Fuck Remember those are. fucking things at the university that, oh, are you joking? It's, we're in the middle of a pandemic. Oh, and they started crying and then they went to the fucking university. And then I got a public nuisance fine. Oh, God, dude. These we, fucking uh, purple haired fucking three in one fucking cum mums. We better give some context uh, in that. You, 
um, we filmed a website video where we like were walking around with like a box and then our phone would ring and it's because we our hands would be carrying a box our phone would ring and it would be like Michael calling me and we'd get them we'd ask a stranger like, oh can you just grab my phone quickly and then grab the phone and we'd have I'd have Michael's number saved as like um, doctor, family doctor or something we, we called and we got the flu let's just anyway these fucking things we made them cry and I'm glad they cried Connor, oh, cut the elephant part. The, Connor, all the fat references cut. Okay. Connor, can you also cut any of the um the pandemic stuff because it'll well, just, just it'll bleep flag. out bleep out COVID. It's the word COVID. Just bleep them all out because it flags. Sorry, sorry about that. <laughs> anyway, we made him cry, and I'm fucking proud of that because fuck. Oh, but we got a, a public nuisance fine, so they win. Yeah. Anyway, fucking yuck. Next yuck. question is from Addison Leet. How much does Matt Brown weigh? How many likes did that have? A couple. <laughs> Do you want to answer that, Matt? No. <laughs> you, I reckon you've lost weight. What do we all weigh? I'm 92 at the moment. I oh, weighed myself. Okay, I'm a bit more than you. I'm a dirty 82. What's the most? You 82, 92, 102. What are you now, James? That's 87. I used to, I've gained 10 kilos in a year. I've stayed about the same. Oh, remember the biggest I've ever been was 105. Whoa. The biggest I've been is 112. You were more than Flock Lale. He's been a biggest. I'm 112. Is, is oh, the so biggest, you have? Oh. Is the biggest I've ever been. But I'm yeah. at like 102 or three. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, well, fuck. I can't. Carbs is just too hard to cut out. We're also very tall boys. Yeah, that's true. We are massively huge. Can't they? Ceiling fans hit the top of my head. And that's, that's questions. questions. Alrighty, guys, let's finish with prank call. Yeah, we've got to open this. I've got messages about it. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, you're right. You're right. All right. We're no. going to fucking move on to the PO box. We've got a very exciting PO box. I uh, read the DM. We need scissors to open that. It's okay. going to be very difficult to open. Is it? Is it like sacred fucking it's, it's gas? It's Satan's blood. Oh, yeah. Is what the DM said. Look at that. Look at Matt run. He's run it looks weird when he runs forwards. Yeah, it's unnatch. P.O. Box, if you want to send us something, we open everything live to P.O. Box 256 Tagum, 4018 Queensland, Australia. We open everything live on the podcast. So if you want to. And we to eat fucking, it all. Fucking fuck around. We eat it. We smoke it. We God, I stink. Fuck it. Whoa! Oh, <laughs> I nearly stabbed Michael for those listening at home. Whoa! <laughs> oh, it's so risky moving body parts. Imagine if you just put it up once and we go straight through. Ah, I hit my tooth. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, you missed it, man. It was the best thing ever. Best thing ever. I'm so. What is this fucking slow motion world? Yeah, kind of cut out all this Fuck fucking <laughs> Matt fucking around with a package. But I think it's a bottle of alcohol. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah, that's what it smells like alcohol. It's Swedish alcohol. Get the clawfish nickel. Yeah, 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 you impatient. Hey boys, just thought I would send you a bottle of our whiskey. A housewarming gift to get everyone to try it. It's good. Uh, could we request a shot on the podcast? Enjoy, guys. Cheers. Be more B. You don't have to read this on the pod, but we are from a small town called Winchelsea in Victoria, hence the name of our whiskey. We have been big fans for years. My husband and I are also university members oh. and watch the new videos each Sunday. Appreciate all your hard work and thank you for the laughs. Um, is that Amy Claire? Oh, it's Amy Jones. Oh, fuck yeah. I know Amy. She's a legend. And Jeff. Oh, well, thank you very much, guys. Unfortunately, we are in a bit of a um, alcohol break, but next time we, we do it, we promise you we will have some and we will report Fuck back it, to the it. podcast. All right, Matt's oh, going to have man, some. Oh, man, it smells so fucking good. It smells like vanilla -y. Matt's going to have some. Well, here we go. It'll take 15 minutes to open <laughs> this. It smells like a dessert. Uh, cheers, Amy and Jeff. They DM'd me. They told me not to piss in that. <laughs> oh, well. 
Nah, we only <laughs> Nah, nah, thank you very oh, much, Amy. Look, shut the bottle, though. I have a bad feeling. Support, supportive uh, members there, legends. When we, will, oh. we will enjoy the shit. Yeah, that, come like when we have our Boys next trip. fucking bender. Boys that trip. That is all getting done in hour. In one hour. Win chin whiskey. All right, guys. Final segment of the day. We get a prank call, and let me tell you what's going on here. Arnold Fine has a bit of a problem, see, because he wants to travel to Tasmania mm. to see his extended family, mm. but he needs to wants to bring his his little pig, his baby piglet. He wants to bring it on the plane with him. It only weighs three kilos. It's a, it's the same as a baby. It's the same as a baby. Baby pig, same thing. Mm. So Licking anyway, we're going to see if um, any airline will allow uh, Arnold Fine to bring his pig on as a carry-on. Okay. <clears throat> Matt. Welcome to How can I help you? Hello. Um, my name is Arnold Fine. Um, look, I call... Um, I look to make a flight to uh, Tasmania. And I uh, need to know uh, what um, carry-on uh, limit, uh, weight limit is uh, for me and my uh, sick wife. Uh, my wife is uh, sick. She uh, cannot see uh, from her left eye. Oh, I hear that. It's seven kilograms carry-on okay. um, allowed. Yeah. Okay, so uh, seven kilo. And uh, what? What about uh, baby? If uh, baby on uh, plane, uh, is baby uh, need uh, its own seat or uh, baby okay in um, arms of uh, the mother? Baby is okay on the arms of the mother. That's fine. Okay, okay. So, um, listen, uh, strange uh, question, okay. Um, I need uh, to go to Tasmania, see a uh, family, okay. It's uh, quite um, urgent. I, my, I have um, a pig farm in uh, North Brisbane, and uh, my, my pig uh, have uh, baby pig, okay. It's a uh, newborn uh, little uh, pig. I call him uh, Sloan. Okay, uh, Sloan need to come uh, with me and my wife. Uh, Sloan weigh maybe um, 1.5, maybe 2 kilo. Uh, so I need to take a pick um, with me on uh, the plane. And I put in, uh, I wrap him in a little uh, blanket thing so he doesn't flick around and doesn't move. He, he stay in my, my wife's arm and uh, he sleep uh, from Brisbane to Tasmania. Uh, so we take a small two kilo pick uh, on the plane. Uh, Is this a pick? Uh, yes. Is this a pig that you're referring to? Yes, a little little piglet. An okay. animal pig. Yes, and not a big pig. Oh, okay. piglet. Yeah, not a big pig, a little uh, baby pig. Oh, no. We won't be able to um, accommodate okay, a pig so, on the plane. Okay, so if I uh, human baby, okay, but, um, but uh, baby pig not, okay, human uh, baby, uh, pig baby, the same thing, it's same exact uh, animal. Huh? Yeah, it's an animal, so an animal won't be able to get onto the plane, so we can't compare an, a human and an animal. Why so not? They do the same cow? thing. A baby scream and a poo on the plane and, uh, and uh, spit uh, the food out and uh, scream and cry. My piglet uh, barely make a sound and I uh, feed before flight. So it's uh, not even hungry. Huh? I understand. However, a pig is totally different to a human regardless of what nature things What you mean? Do, How different? How is pig different to a baby? It's the same thing. It make the same thing. We don't allow animals. It's a human. Okay. And we don't allow okay. animals unless... And yeah. Okay, so I, in that I case, see maybe oh. with a full grown pig, okay. I I, I see uh, maybe where what you say, okay. But it's a baby pig, you understand? It's uh, it fit in my hand. 
it uh, fit in my hand, it uh, look uh, cute, and, uh, and uh, you serve a ham on plan, no? You serve a ham sandwich, so if, how come you have a cook? Cooked pig is okay, cooked animal, but a little sleeping baby animal in my wife's arm, my wife is sick, uh, not okay, huh? It make no sense. Hello. I'm still here. Um, I'm still here. But there's only much I can actually advise you. Um, is this a... What type of pig is this? Is, this, is it your pet that you want yes, to come uh, Yes, I, uh, okay. s- I uh, sell a pig uh, to butcher, and, uh, but a pig, little baby pig, okay? It need uh, me around because it, uh, it help my sick wife uh, with her anxiety. It's a service pig. Uh, like a guide dog, okay, but it's very tiny and uh, it need to come uh, with us. And then I leave in Tasmania, only one way, okay. I leave Sloan in uh, Tasmania with my family, uh, so only one way. Uh, so I don't see, I know you have a policy or say or no animal, but uh, maybe you think to yourself, v- make no sense. You uh-huh. have you have human baby. Alpha, alpha. Okay. I'll find out for you there. Bear with me a few moments, okay, yeah? Okay, okay. I wait. I wait already 20 minutes, but I wait longer. Fuck. Thank you. Okay. Uh-huh. Fucking nigga me away, huh? Who did that think I am, huh? Hello, Lisa. Uh, hello, Arnold Fine. Hi, thank you. Hi, thank you so much for holding apologies. Oh, no, no, I wait. Okay. So I have confirmed. Okay, okay. Yeah, I have confirmed that we aren't able to actually accommodate um, you pick on the flight. Did you say to um, um, Did so you say to your manager? You say, uh, "Oh, we serve a uh, ham on plane, and also we allow a uh, human baby on the plane, and a uh, baby pick uh, same thing as human baby. So why don't we uh, maybe change the rule? Huh? I, it doesn't make I no can't sense. About a baby being a, a a human baby being a baby pig, the same thing. They it's, do the same thing. Animal. You know what I mean? They, they poo, Regardless they eat, they the cry. Uh, Regardless. Sl- slon sleep. Uh, slon it's sleep. An animal and it's a human. Okay, okay. Uh, let's, and we can't uh, guarantee that the pig will be asleep throughout the flight. Okay, so I have a... Uh, please uh, contact right and they will be able to... Assist okay, you. okay. So okay. Google okay, and so type in right. Uh, I, go, I do not go to Google, okay? This is what happened, okay? I go to, I book in your Qantas flight, okay? Last chance, I okay? I give you my money, okay? Like I you. go to airport with my baby pick. We pretend we never had Both conversation. I uh, put, uh, uh, I dress my baby and pick as a baby human, okay? I take on plane the same thing and no one even see, huh? What if I do that? Huh? No one even see. They will, see. They will not. See. I put Obviously a little, put a, a little baby. hat on the little picky and uh, put a little, uh, little uh, makeup on Rats the cheek. Uh, uh, put a little and uh, wrap in the blanket. Uh, same thing. Uh, if anyone say, "Oh, that pick," I say, "How dare you? That's my baby boy." You understand? Uh, you write that down, okay? Maybe you need to speak to your boss. Uh, your policy, it makes no sense. So you must change. You must accept it and change the policy. Okay? You cannot uh, sit by and can't have uh, uh, make no sense thing happen all the time. Uh, 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 why I need to go to Tasmania? Hello? Slon? Um, okay, okay, pussycat. I see how you play this, okay? I give you uh, maybe $200 cash. Huh? What's your bank details? I write them down. Is this how you want to play, huh? You want to take money from me and my family and Sloan, huh? You tell me your bank detail, I transfer $200, and we pretend we never had this conversation, huh? What bank are you with? I'm I'm so sorry, sir. I'm not able to take you two hundred dollars. Um, as I did mention, they will be able Name to allow price, you. Name um, a price. What is your price? Huh? 
I need to go to Tasmania. I don't have a flight. So. Okay, maybe six hundred dollar change your mind, huh? I have six hundred dollar. What is your bank details? I I can't accept your money. I'm really you sorry. Uh, I can only advise you. You bank with Commonwealth Bank? Huh? What happened? Slon. Slon will die. You understand, huh? If I leave him I'm here, really he, sorry, Slon sir. will die. You you happy with a uh, baby pig die? Blood on your hands, huh? Blood on hands. Tusk, 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 huh? Sloan will be lost without us. You understand? I, um, look, I, um, I follow the rule. The rule uh, make no sense, but uh, I follow the rule. I transfer you 600, okay? I am a planer. Huh? Hey, listen, listen here, okay? I do not need a okay? I am a planer. I jumped Tasmania with my sick wife on my back. Okay, then, then we see uh, if I bring Slon with me. Eh? I am a plane. I don't find his plane. You understand? You write that down. I hope you... Uh, okay, so... I hope you... Uh, I'm really sorry that we weren't able to accommodate your... Um, your piglet, your uh, skin, no, I do plate. not need accommodation. Okay, I can only advise you of what qualities. Mm. If you obviously insist on taking your pig to the airport, that's totally fine. But I have advised you accordingly. They might not be able, or they will not be able to. Look, my my religion. No, you go burn pig. in hell for this. Okay, yeah. you, you let a pig, a little baby pig, die. You could uh, go straight to hell for this or something. I do not take lightly. Huh? I am a plane. Okay, I am a plane, a physical I plane. I, could, I am a have wings. I you understand? I have wings. I'm a jet powered plane and I will jump to Tasmania. And then I shock <laughs> You look out the <laughs> window and you see man flying next to you huh? with sick wife on his back. And that will be me. I am a final slon. Slon in my arms, okay? I wings. <laughs> I fly over the Tasman Sea. Huh? You will see. I understand, sir. Um, there's not much I can actually say. Okay. Well, we will see. Huh? You see me fly, and I be on the news. I be on the news about this, huh? You let a f the baby pig die uh, for silly rule. Hmm. Then we see who laughing, huh? Maybe then my six hundred dollar look more appealing. <laughs> <laughs> Long. Is there anything also that um, I can and that will be all, darling. And that will be all. Switch. I will see uh, you. Soon. Thank you so much. Okay, I see you soon. Thank you, you so you much. All the best, yeah. Okay, okay. I am a plan. I understand. Thank you so much for calling. Me. I am a plan. Um, and enjoy the rest of your day. Okay, okay, yeah? okay. I am a plan. Thank you. Bye. I am a plan. <laughs> that was honestly probably oh. one of my most favorite prank calls you've ever done. Slon is where we've got good. <laughs> I then, am a plane. I am a plane. <laughs> I want to <laughs> you <laughs> switch. <laughs> <laughs> you see me outside window. <laughs> <laughs> see I Wife on my back. <laughs> I <understand>. I understand. <laughs> she was the best chick to get. She was so lovely. Oh, she was so talking well. to her friends, going, I can't believe this is real. <laughs> she had her friends in the background, like listening in on that, going, Oh my god. must be like, good. surely this can't be a prank call because no one would wait 20 oh, minutes yeah. on <laughs> who's gonna yeah who's gonna wait that long <laughs> I was hoping when you were gonna laugh you were just gonna start cackling ha 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 like it's got even more epic but the cough fucking spit oh. thing was good oh. too anyway uh, next week we got Paulie and Blake on so fucking get ready for a crack hot we oh by the way don't forget to like comment subscribe five star rating on Spotify cause that's all that drives us forwards in this town bitch we are the best. We're 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 the best.